An operator must know the components and subsystems of the compressor package. So let's review those things now using a compressor package to show you the examples of certain components. We'll start with the cylinder and piston. Here's where most of the action occurs in a reciprocating compressor. In the cylinder, a trapped volume of gas is compressed by the piston, increasing the gas pressure. The gas is then discharged, and a new volume of gas is again compressed by the piston. This cycle repeats itself hundreds of times per minute. When gas is compressed, it generates heat. So to help control heat buildup and prolong cylinder life, Cylinders have passages for cooling water. Keeping things cool is vitally important in operating a reciprocating compressor because excessive heat buildup can damage equipment, resulting in lost revenue and costly repairs. So in addition to cooling passages, most compressors have lubricant added in the cylinder walls to reduce wear from the friction generated by the back and forth motion of the piston. Now, other compressors use special material, for example, Teflon, to reduce friction. To further reduce wear on the pistons and cylinders, rings are mounted in machine grooves on the piston. The primary function of these rings is to create a pressure seal that prevents gas from leaking from one side of the piston to the other. Each cylinder also contains two sets of valves, suction, and discharge. These valves look similar, but gas travels through them in only one direction. As suggested by their names, a suction valve allows gas to enter the cylinder for compression, while the discharge valve lets the compressed gas leave the cylinder. Although there are several different types of valves, they all work on the same principle, differential pressure. Like water seeking its own level, gas will travel automatically from a high pressure to a low pressure area. So in the case of a suction valve, a lower pressure inside the cylinder and a higher pressure outside the cylinder cause the valve to open, allowing gas into the cylinder. The reverse is true for a discharge valve. The compressed higher pressure gas escapes the cylinder to a lower pressure area through the discharge valve. Moving along now to the crank end of the cylinder, we find packing that surrounds the piston rod. Constructed of rings and cups in a cage, packing is used to prevent pressurized gas from escaping to the atmosphere, or crankcase. To reduce wear, the packing may have lubrication ports or be constructed of special materials, such as Teflon. Like the cylinder, the packing can also have cooling vents for water circulation. Within the compressor, there are two types of rods, piston and connecting. A piston rod joins the piston to the crosshead. The crosshead converts the rotary motion of the crankshaft into the back and forth motion of the piston. The crosshead must be held in very close tolerance to the crosshead guides to ensure horizontal, level motion of the piston. 